cinnamon and pumpkin spice. This can only mean one thing. Fall is here. What's up everybody? This is Parker from the Fast Foodies back with another snack review. I was at my local Walmart perusing the aisles as always a few days ago and I saw that Nestle Toll House just released some fall seasonal items. So of course, I had to pick them up and review them for you guys. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at pumpkin spice cookie dough and cinnamon roll cookie dough. Or if you wanna see more snack reviews of all seasonal snacks or fast food items, I actually just really, uh, not released, <laughs> reviewed the, I think it was a apple cider donut from Dunkin' Donuts. And then I also did a fast food battle of some pumpkin spice flavored coffees. If you want to see those reviews, I'll put a card up in one of these corners. But if you want to see more kind of seasonal snack fast food reviews, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button to see more of them. But yeah, I am very excited for these. I don't really know which one I'm going to like more because I love pumpkin. I love cinnamon rolls. Which team are you? Team pumpkin? Team cinnamon rolls? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and definitely make sure to watch till the end because I got like a little uh, hack that you guys are definitely going to want to go see. But or go see, you're definitely going to want to see. But... I'm gonna go pop these in the oven, cook some cookies up, and I will be right back. And we are back. I have the cookies all baked up. They look a little bit burnt. However, I only cooked them for 12 minutes and said 12 to 13 minutes. So I don't know what that's all about to be honest, but I actually forgot which one's which. So uh, we're gonna have to start with, we'll start with the smaller one and we'll try to find out if it's a cinnamon one or the pumpkin one. Hopefully I can distinguish between the two. Now I think this is a cinnamon one because it looks like to have cream cheese chips. Yeah, this is most definitely the cinnamon one. And you can, <laughs> has a real nice cinnamon flavor. Mm. It literally tastes like a cinnamon roll in cookie form. I'm impressed. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. I was gonna give it like an 8.5, nine, but because it's burnt and I cooked it for the correct amount of time, I'm gonna dock it a few points for that. But flavor-wise, very solid. Now on to the pumpkin one. Here we go, the pumpkin spice cookie. Inside look. Hmm, not too strong of a pumpkin flavor, to be honest. It's very, it tastes very similar to the cinnamon roll flavor, which I'm not mad about because as I said, the cinnamon roll one tasted delicious. This one tastes very similar to that one, except with a hint of pumpkin spice. So for ratings, I'm gonna give it the same as I did the cinnamon roll, an eight out of 10. Now on to the part that you guys have probably been waiting for, probably been asking yourself, Parker, what's that hack that you were talking about at the beginning of this review? Well, let me show you. I just finished reviewing the apple of my pumpkin pie seasonal ice cream flavor from Cold Stone Creamery. If you want to see that review, I'll put a card up in one of these corners. And I also reviewed apple cider donut Oreos with my sister. And I'll also put a card up in one of these reviews if you want to see that review. But, you know, we have these two seasonal treats and we have some seasonal cookies right there. Let's make the ultimate fall dessert. Step one, take one of the two seasonal cookies. I already forgot which one it is. Put Cold Stone Creamery Apple of My Pumpkin Pie ice cream on top of said cookie. Put Apple Cider Donut Oreo on top of Cold Stone Creamery Apple of My Pumpkin Pie ice cream. Put more ice cream on said Oreo. Lastly, top it with the other seasonal cookie from Nestle Toll House. That, that is fall in dessert for me. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to hear more, check out Fast Foodies Podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify.